to, you have to put two things in perspective. How bad do I want to see God? Come on now. And what life do I actually want to live? Because if seeing God causes me not to live, hello. Yeah. Then if I'm not living, who's gonna be living? Uh -huh. All right. All right now. I'll know it. Christ in us. The hope of glory. So if I see him, it will cause me to die. Mm -hmm. That the life of Christ may live. Yeah. Yeah. So Jesus Christ in return. While he was going to that cross, yeah. he saw us. Yeah. And he died. Yeah. 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 That's why he died, because he saw us. So, yeah. Come on. Yeah. If he can decide to die just to see you uh -huh. come into your fullness and come yeah. to the place of purpose and destiny. Yeah. Why not you die that people may see God? Oh, yeah. Come on. God. That they may see the fullness of God walking the earth through you. The Bible says, Enoch, come on, baby, walked with God so close until he was found no more. Can I say that again? Enoch walked so close with God until he was found no more. No more. Right. Man. 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 Can I back up and do that again? Man. Man. He keep what, what he get? He moved his own.
we gotta break us from our opinions and our thought patterns. That's right. That we may be the manifested voice of God in the earth. The Bible says that they're gonna be the voice of many waters. The book of Revelation says that the waters were the people. There's gonna be many people carrying the voice of God. We're gonna carry the same voice, the same word that's spinning on the inside of the preachers are gonna scream within the saints. Come on, you hear them saying? Because there's an unleashing of the corporate anointing. This is gonna happen. You gotta get that move of God in you. You gotta come in here praying on your face and nobody else is up in here. You gotta be ready to do whatever God has called you to do. You gotta ask what come on, what God requires of you. You need to get with your leaders and say, what do I need to do next? What does it need to happen next to me? You're gonna see a move of God shift this city. Glory be to the name of God. As you're making the transition to your other place, you will see God manifest over there. What he started right here. The day that I got my church, the week, the couple days before I got my church, Bishop, I was preaching in Bible study. And God said to me, He said, He said, There are some people that have a sign that's waiting on you there that won't come here. And sometimes we stay here trying to pull out there for. And by faith, God is trying to get us. Abraham, leave your kindred. Where's God? Get those. Come on. And I believe that as you're making this transition, there's going to be a powerful impact that's going to flood this church. And as the church is getting flooded, oh my God, I'll tell you what I see. You're going to have to be ready to administer God to hurt people. Everybody's not called to the microphone. Some of them are called to agree, to do paperwork. That's a great calling. Some folks are called to witness. Some folks are called to establish events. Some people are called to do other ministries. And it's time for us to find our place. And when the transition comes, we will not be waiting on people to get their stuff together. But while we are here, we are preparing for them. Yes, yes. Clap your hands and give a praise. Yes, yes, yes. You know, baby, I told the church one night. I said, what if God brings a bundle of people in here tomorrow? Will y'all be able to handle that? What if 50 people walk in here tonight and I'm going to join Spirit Life tonight? What kind of setup? What, what kind of setup you got for those people? They thought I was playing when I told them that. One night we went to church bishop and 21 folk joined in one night. 21 people in one night. Everybody scrambling and trying to figure out what we're going to do. No, I told you. You said it was not just an old time God, but an any time God. Come on. And God can do this thing any time. So it's time for us to get serious. Put a little more time and a little more work in a little more effort, a little more support. Yeah. And we're going to see the hand of God move yeah. through this area. Yeah. Clap that hand and give God praise. Oh.